that is psychometry. We're going to look at these. Harry Houdini, for those of you who saw the television show recently, was quite consumed by this concept of spiritualism, of being able to communicate from this world to the world beyond. At that time, in the late 1917 period up through the 20s and into the early 30s, spiritualism was a big phenomenon. And individuals went to the seances, and they wanted to communicate. Harry Houdini exposed that component as mostly chicanery and fraud. Tonight, what we're going to do, we're going to do with the power of your own mind. You all will create this and make this happen. We will begin first by harnessing the energy that exists within this room. In a moment, we will move to the bottle of water and the two by two by six piece of lumber. And we're going to infuse our energy into those objects. Before we do, we're going to demonstrate what that energy is. This box has the ability to record energy. You'll be able to hear energy that exists within yourselves through this box. Now, if I may, I'm going to ask each of you, if you will, I'm going to have you extend, please, your right index finger to touch that little post. Listen, thank you. Oh, but I'm going to have you hold on to that. Keep your finger there, if you will. Fred, I'm going to ask you, if you will, to touch the other post. Perfect. You'll notice, what do we hear? Nothing. Because the energy, yes, I have an acute grasp of the obvious. <laughs> The circle of energy has not been completed. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask you both to bring your other hands across and touch fingertips. Release your fingertips, the energy stops. Now, if I may ask you to rise, if you will, both of you, my first levitation act of the evening. <laughs> both please rise up, and then I will ask, I'm going to bring you forward. I'm going to ask you all, please, to step over here to the side. Yes. And I'll bring you all, <laughs> all the way over because we're going to create, Terry, if you and Fred will hold hands, and if you have physical hands, then I'm going to bring both gentlemen around. And then I'll have you place your fingertips on the Energy. If the two ladies just release hands, it stops. Touch hands again. Thank you all very much for your participation. The energy. Now we're going to harness that energy. A two by two by six piece of lumber. It is inert. It once was part of a living tree. What is it missing? It's missing two things. The water that nourishes it, the energy that gives it life. I'm going to ask you all to assist. I will take the piece of lumber, lay it against the bottle of water, and then I'm going to ask you all to focus your thought process into the bottle of water to energize the molecules of the water to re-energize this piece of lumber. This is an experiment. We will see how well we can harness our energy. And I'm going to ask you all please to focus on that piece of wood in the water. I'm going to ask you to focus carefully as you can, because we're hoping to excite the molecules of water so that they will then pass through the plastic into the lumber, causing the lumber to come back to life and perhaps move, perhaps a quarter of an inch, maybe only an eighth, maybe a millimeter, or maybe we'll get even more movement out of it. 
this is an experiment. I don't want anyone to get eye strain or a headache. <laughs> As we focus, as we focus carefully onto that piece of lumber and onto that water, we're looking for movement. You may get it. We do. Please give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> energy, focusing energy. We're going to take that energy now, and we're going to look at the types of energy that we have. We have, as Rabbi will talk with us in just several weeks, energy to do good and energy to do bad. And so now we're going to look at that. I'm going to ask you all, please, again, to focus, concentration, and what we're going to do. Energy. I'm going to ask, in a moment, I'm going to hand the pen and the pad to Dr. Stone. Hand you the pen and the pad, and in a moment, Dr. Stone, I'm going to ask you, if you will, to open up the pad, and I want you to, I want you to draw a design. Any design you want to draw. I don't want to see it, but I'm going to ask you to draw a design, if you will. Yes. A prescription, maybe. I'm going to have you open up the pad. And, and just draw onto the pad to open up the cover. And I want you to draw a design. And as you do, how are you doing? Got your design? Very good. Those next to you saw the design. You did receive that in the mail, didn't you, Steve? I want you to concentrate on the design. With, thank you. It was in today's mail. I didn't get it either. But I'm going to ask you, you may show it to your wife and those I around you if you saw it. <laughs> What's even scarier even scarier as I can get that brand new marker that I just oh. purchased. <laughs> Steve, I want you to concentrate. This is the impression that I'm getting from Steve. I don't know what to make of it. Make of what? Steve? I have office hours. <laughs> Steve, if I may, this is the impression that I'm getting. Could you please show everyone in the room the actual drawing that you made? Is it the same? <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a nice hotel pen. Thank you. Was it the same? Is it the same? Yeah. That would make it too good. No. If you want to see the design yeah, that Steve perfect. drew. It's perfect. It is. It's amazing. That's amazing. Do it again. Thank you. Do it again. 
<laughs> in fact, if you want, we can pass it around so you can see what it is. Then you can tell me what it is. <laughs> Steve, thank you.